So in today's video we are going to create this 3D typographic animation inside of Cinema 4D. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Cinema 4D. So first thing we need to do, we need to create one spline. So for that I'll go over here and over here I'll choose this rectangle like that and width i'm gonna choose let's say 700 like this we'll zoom out a little bit and i'm gonna select this roundness option and i'll increase the roundness around 160 like that and we will hide this rectangle for now now we will go to the more graph option and we will choose more text so after selecting this more text we will get this text over here as you can see we are getting this align and instead of left we will choose middle so our text should be in the middle now we will type whatever text we want i will type motion design in caps so as you can see we will get this text over here so i'll select this more text option and in object over here we have one option called font so we will choose the appropriate font i'll choose poppins black you are free to choose any font but i would suggest choose this poppins black so as you can see we have text over here but we cannot see any lines over here so for that press n and then press d on keyboard so we can see lines over here but this is not the way we want the lines so for that what we will do as oh, you can see we have one option called intermediate points over here instead of adaptive i'll choose uniform so we will get this kind of lines then we will go to the caps option and in type instead of n gone i'll choose quadrangles and we over here we will get this option called regular grid so we'll click on it so because of that we will get this kinds of lines i mean edges and width i'm going to choose five so as you can see we have proper edges for this now our main thing is done now we will go to our deformers and we will choose this spline wrap now select this spline wrap and move this over here inside this more text now select this spline wrap over here you will get this option like basic coordinates and object in coordinates first option is spline so i'll enable this rectangle and we have to import this spline over here so as you can see our text is now around this rectangular spline like this and select this spline wrap over here as you can see we have x's instead of plus x i'll choose minus x if you want to increase the length of this rectangle you are free to do that but i'm not gonna suggest you to do much more and select this text you can decrease the horizontal spacing between the text like that now select this spline wrap, create one keyframe at the offset, go to around 90 seconds and let's make this offset 100 and again create another keyframe. Go to the start, if you see we will get this kind of animation. Now select this offset, right click, go to the animation and choose show F curve. Again as you can see we are not saying anything so for that make sure that you are selecting select this thing selecting this offset go to the start first right click go to the animation and show f curves then only we can see this now select this offset hit ctrl a to select this and then choose this option called linear so as you can see this line is straight now so i'll close this and now if we hit play we will get this kind of animation If you want to edit the text you can you can simply hit spacebar or anything but i am not gonna change anything you can increase one space it's totally up to you now after that select both of this option and press alt g to create a group so as you can see we have this null if you open this we have this motex and rectangle now select this null double click and type one oops sorry select this and type 1 now hold ctrl and 
bring it down to duplicate it select this and type 2 like that now you can select this two and move this thing over here go to the coordinates and you can simply rotate it i'll rotate it on 90 and then i'll move this thing over here now go to the camera and choose parallel so we can see the parallel view like that zoom in a little bit then you can select this camera and enable this option if you hit ctrl r to render it you will get something like this now we have to include some materials on it so i'll double click on this one and i'll apply this material on this text double click on this material in color option we will choose red color and we will close it then again double click and apply this color to this motion second text i'll select this color and i'll choose white color if you hit r so we'll get something like this now we have to include some lights in our scene so i'll select this light option and we will choose area light and we will increase the size of this areas with the help of this points now hit middle mouse button to open this four views and in the middle view i'll press again middle mouse button to open it now i'll select this light over here so we will get this light now we have to adjust the light so i'll move this over here press r for rotation rotate it on this axis and on this axis again hit middle mouse button i'll go to the right view zoom out hit w as you can see this is not uh, according to our global axis so uh, what we will do we will hit w so we will get we will get this axis upon according to our global axis so i'll move this thing over here again go to the top view by holding control we will move this thing over here press r for rotation and then uh, again it's not according to global axis so again press w and move it like that hit e again to move this over here now i'll select this light i'll go to the general and in shadow as you can see we have none so i'll choose area again i'll choose a light one and i'll choose area again select both the lights and hold control and move this thing over here press r for rotation and rotate it like that we'll make it 180.9 looks good to me then again go to our main view and if you press ctrl r now as you can see we are getting this kind of render so if you hit play now we will get something like this you are free to choose any color over here also instead of white you are free to choose any color like that so you'll get something like this but right now i'm gonna choose white color only because this looks good or instead of red color you are free to choose black color also but i don't think it looks much more cooler so yep this is how you can create a simple 3d typography animation which is in the form of loop as you can see so that's it for the today's video